Letting Go was a song that I wasn't initially sure about. You know, it shows a side of me and an emotion that I wasn't initially comfortable expressing, at least publicly. But I went ahead and recorded the song and after showing it to a few friends and that experience, it just made me realize I needed to put the song out. So the song starts obviously with acoustic guitar and vocals, but pretty early on the drums come in and they have this tambourine accent. It sounds something like this. Now a funny thing about that tambourine accent is it actually wasn't played on drums and was recorded completely separately, which seems illogical, but the only explanation for it is I didn't know the song needed that accent until after I recorded the drums. The structure of this song is really strange as well. And the reason I say that is because you have this part where I say, it's all right, it's all right to let me go. And in a lot of ways that comes off as a chorus, but how I view that compositionally is almost as like a pre-chorus or even a bridge. However, I say the, but please remember me. And to me, that's almost the chorus. Now the guitar solo is broken down into two parts and what I was trying to achieve was I wanted it to sound like two separate guitar players playing two separate guitars. This was accomplished by just EQing them slightly differently and giving them a little bit of different cadence. But to end the solo and round it all off, they come together and harmonize quite nicely. One thing I love about the studio is production and layering parts. And this song has no shortage of layers. There's actually a tremendous amount of 12 string guitar, as well as just like noodling from a six string acoustic. Now, when I write a song, I often think storyline. And I think Letting Go showcases that very well, where not only do the lyrics kind of have this story arc to it, but even the music itself. You know, it kind of builds and develops and grows and moves and changes throughout the entire song, which I really like about this tune. One thing I love about this song is how it comes out. I give that last vocal line and we put this delay reverb effect on it that ends the song nicely. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We just dropped a new line of merch, which you can find on our website, and we got another video queued up for you right here. Yeah.